Hey everyone and welcome back for another tutorial today. So in today's tutorial we are going to be looking at how I set up the lighting for this scene here. And uh, I thought this would be also fun to do in Octane and just show you how I went about creating the lighting for this bottle uh, right here. So this bottle is just a quick mock-up that I made and uh, yeah, it's not a real product. But it will showcase the different techniques that I used for the lighting. Um, so yeah, this is the scene and uh, let's take a look at how these lights were set up, each of them. So I will start by turning off all of our lights here. And as you can see, maybe you can see it, we just have a slight uh, light uh, with the HDRI just kind of giving us this reflection on our bottle. So I just use an ACRI from Tech, uh, ACRI Haven and I set the power very low down here. Um, so yeah, the um, it's just a texture environment set up with an RGB image and I use the tree, uh, 3D transformation. You can use that to uh, rotate the ACRI around. And the power was set to 0 0.05 and uh, the legacy gamma down here is set to one that's very important as I have also shown in other tutorials. So, but this is basically all for the uh, uh, HDRI and uh, yeah, it's not that important and it's just to give a bit more realism to the scene itself. So let's take a look at each of these uh, light setups here. Um, the first one is just the plane and I have included this as part of the lighting because when lighting bottles, uh, we do it a bit different to other objects. Because there are liquid inside of our bottle, we need to, and it's a glass shading, we need to light it from behind actually to get the um, sort of look that we want, the soft uh, kind of look that we want. So what I did was I just uh, had a plane and uh, this plane I turned into a, an emission object and you can see that it's just affecting the um, the backdrop giving us a slight rim away around the bottle from here just kind of a backlight uh, but most of all it's just lighting up the liquid inside of our bottle here uh, not affecting the front at all so just kind of this gradient bluish backdrop and uh, if we go into the shader editor, you can see that our uh, backdrop here is just a universal material with a, a slight bluish tint to the albedo with the roughness all the way up. But the important thing is when we take a look at our plane here, right, and I actually spent uh, quite a lot of time figuring out how, how to do this, uh, you can see that we have the uh, diffused material, we have a black, a black body emission, and angular field and the 3D transformation with the uh, tweaked uh, numbers over here. And uh, But I actually think, now I'm thinking about it, that we should take a look at how this is working with the other plane that I also did uh, this uh, black body emission to. And that is the uh, that is the part, if we turn this ball off, that is the part that's creating our uh, frontal uh, kind of lighting here. So how did I go about this? So if I turn out of this view, you can see from the side that this is actually a gradient. Um, so I th in the beginning, I found it quite hard how uh, I should go about making this gradient look on our plane, but uh, I. Th I found it possible using the angular field and the 3D transformation. So if I just plug out this one, you can see this, if I just plug everything out, this is just a diffuse material. It's got nothing to it other than just a, like a, a, a diffused material that's just like a plane, so to speak. And uh, I added that black body emission, uh, which I put into the emission. And this just made, <clears throat> just like we can do in cycles, uh, we can make planes into emissions and use these as lighting source. And uh, and I also wanted to do like a gradient as I have done many times before in cycles. 
that I found this texture here, angular field. I could plug this into the texture and we could create this sort of gradient here. And you can see when I play around with the rotation, we can kind of rotate this around. So I wanted it to go from light and then to like uh, creating this uh, kind of a nice gradient roll off and uh, then you can also play around with the uh, with the scale of the gradient as you can see I'm doing right here uh, oops. Um, so let me just say to like something like this we can also play around with the uh, with this part here like how much it is going to be graded you can see you can make it quite like a really soft gradient and then you could turn off the power or you can play around with the core angle, which is basically just where it's uh, starting. Uh, so maybe we want something like, like, oh, maybe just, just like this, just to get the sort of like gradient. And uh, we can play around with this one here, affecting it. So I know this is not that easy to play around with and uh, that might also be a way better way to do this and please let me know in the comments if you have figured out better ways to do like a gradient uh, emission in Octane. I know you could also you know, download a softbox texture from like any, yeah, anywhere and um, maybe Grayscale Gorilla or something like that and we could plug that as an image texture into the texture of the black body emission and we could probably make also a gradient but I wanted to try to see if I could do this like procedure with Octane, and this is this is at least one of the way that I found it and it worked for me so if I go into this view here you can see that it's kind of harsh in this beginning and then it kind of graduates out um, to give this sort of like kind of nice effect here and uh, there's a lot of, you know, reflections happening in this scene here. And it's all good when I also light up the backdrop. You can see that we start to get this kind of really smooth roll-off roll -off from the light part here and into the middle. And we also can kind of see the soft box. You can also make this go all the way out to the end, of course, just scaling up your uh, plane or moving it further back so it's kind of roll off but I actually like this a bit where we can also like see the actually see the play itself and uh, yeah I just thought it added a bit of the dimensions to this scene uh, though this might not be the way that most people are doing it uh, but yeah and so this is just the two things that I made with the uh, the angular field and a black body mission to interfuse material to the plane so let's take a look at some of the other things that we made. So I'll turn this one off again so that we only have our HDRI. And then I actually added a top light up here. So I wanted just, you know, kind of like this uh, reflection here. I also like this one and just to fill up a bit of the shadows on our label and also our uh, top cap here. And uh, so, yeah, but I didn't use a, I just used a, an Octane Area Light from this just to show you that it's also possible to just use like the normal if you want the the kind of harsher if I scroll in here you can see we get these harsher uh, reflections here so if that's the look you're going for you can also just use an a uh, and just a normal area light and you will can you can see these nice reflections that we get on our also embossed uh, texture here uh, which is a bump app actually that I made, just like a wavy uh, kind of things. I will show you this also in another tool, how we texture the bottle itself with the glass shading and the liquid and the bottle cap and how we UV unwrap the bump map and make the uh, the label also. Uh, that's coming up the next one. Uh, but yeah, so I had added this area light here. And uh, another thing that I did was, if I turn this one off, I also wanted, I thought when I used this one, I just thought that this uh, label here was a bit too dark. We, we really want to see what's on this label here. So what I did was I created another area light just to suddenly light uh, up the label here. 
and we can play around with this of course we can you know add a bit more power to this uh oops it was the wrong one <laughs> uh and we can also i'm just using like in every light of course i could also have done the plate again uh just would take a bit more time to set up but i think this is fine uh, for our light here I know there's a bit of reflections down here and you can play around with the scale and all those things just to kind of get rid of this and just affecting the, the plane itself. And I haven't quite figured out how to the, do the light link in Octane yet. And I've just been using the lights and, and doing these things here as I'm also normally using with, uh, using cycles. Um, but this is would be like a real case scenario where we would just have to light this part here. So when I start to add all of the lights, you can see that the sea is really building up. So we start to have the backlight that's just lighting up the backdrop and our uh, liquid and glass shading. Then we added like a, a nice gradient to fall off to the bottle high reflecting and making like a smooth uh, gradient shading to it also lighting up the label and the cap up here uh, i think this part looks really nice in particular uh, then i just added a, like a top light just to give a bit more reflections up here and fill out some of the shadows also on the cap and the label itself and then i just added the area light down here just to fill up some more shadows on the label itself. I don't mind it going a bit dark over here. I think it's just a nice contrasty look. But we can now see that it says purge in here. Uh, something about Rora. I don't know what I wrote. but And you can see we also have the bumpy uh, stuff down here lit up nicely. And our bump maps are nicely lit up. As well as our uh, cap up here and see through the glass here. So yeah, so this is just how I went about the light setup. It's a, a bit of an, a simple but still quite advanced setup where we have five lights, actually, or four lights. We have the the uh, the two plates that we used and uh, to light up our bottle, like the main lights, and then we just have the octane area lights here to fill up the label and the, the uh, top cap here. So... Uh, so yeah, this is uh, basically the light setup that I that I use. Uh, so the takeaway in this tutorial is play around the, with the black body emission on that plane and see if you can add some textures uh, into this black body emission. You can do a noise texture, you can do an angular fill, you can maybe add an RGB image if you have like a softbox texture and try to play around with how you can create these sort of nice roll-offs here on the uh, on your bottles uh, so yeah so um, this is all for this tutorial and uh, yeah looking forward to show you how i went about creating the uh, bump maps and the textures from the glass shading uh, in the next tutorial so uh, see you bye